welcome back to Shauna Lena. At the start of this year, we set off to travel across Southeast Asia. We've stayed in places like Thailand, Bali, and Vietnam. Our goal is to eventually visit Japan. But because Japan was still closed at this time, we decided to come back to Thailand. And we took a flight down to the south of Thailand to visit Koh Samui. We're surrounded by beautiful blue beaches, great temples, and an abundance of street food. We start our adventure out by getting a flight to Shotani and then a bus to the ferry. So we drove for like an hour and we finally made it to the pier. It's actually really nice. And uh, we're just getting onto the boat now. I didn't realise it's going to be this big, literally cars and all, but it is a ferry at the end of the day. But yeah, some nice scenes, I'm not going to lie, I absolutely missed like the limestone stacks of South Thailand, so it's good to be back. <laughs> We waiting like two minutes and we loaded onto the boat where we sitting here for maybe 15 minutes while they were loading on cars and yeah now we're off so uh, yeah, we, we, we can see rain clouds in the distance that oh, we yeah. are departing these dangerous clouds oh look at those that, that is rain rain of fallen in the gulf of thailand the gulf of thailand there we go beautiful ah it's such a nice spot look at this just stop. This country is just too beautiful, honestly. you guys saw us were probably just getting off the ferry and we checked into our one night accommodation last night which ended up being in the kind of club section of Co of Chuang so we didn't fall asleep probably till 3 a.m because there was literally just rave music going on but um we checked into our new accommodation which we're here for eight nights and it's really really nice we even have a hallway. Feels like a home. You come in and you have a little dressing table. And then big open closet. Sorry if I'm out of breath. Uh, we literally backpacked for like 15 minute walk with our backpack. So. Like midday yeah. Uh, I love these bamboo. Yeah, yeah, they're really yeah, nice. Yeah, and nice, huge bed, actually. And then, as you can see, Sean's sitting on our table and slash couch with our tree in the corner. Stop. We actually have a pretty nice view. A few electric cables. That's Thailand. Yeah, welcome to Thailand. And then a kitchen. So this is definitely... A, Obviously a studio apartment, but we got a microwave, 
a fridge. Massive fridge. Stop. Look at that. I'll show you the bathroom now as well. It's a wet room, which is a classic in Thailand, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's all you need, really. So. Yeah, nice little spot. Yeah, we're pretty happy with it. This cost us not that much. We'll put Dude. it up on the screen. Um, now, obviously, we, because we've been traveling for so long, we're like level three on booking genius. So we get a lot of discounts and like free room upgrades through booking. So when you are backpacking, make sure to use Agoda and booking because especially if you're doing one night stays because that can just ramp up your yeah. kind of account it's very so quickly. And it helps you save a lot in the future. So yeah, mm. we're gonna unpack and kind of suss out the area. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Alina's intro is very so funny. Why? It's good this. Good morning, good afternoon. Wow, it's, like, it's polite. She's like, what up? We're what back. Up, bitch? So yeah, it's afternoon. We unpacked everything. It took a while. So I'm sleepy. I actually haven't been sleeping out well at all yeah, in the last week. The, the rock band playing till... 3 a.m. just didn't help. Oh, it wasn't a rock band oh, by the a.m. Yeah, at 12, at 12 it changed to a, a house DJ. A discotheque. Discotheque. Yeah, so we're just walking along the main road in Chuang. We're gonna go to the central, which is only a 10 minute walk from us. And we're gonna pick up some bits for the week. Yeah. Well, we're here for eight nights, so nine days really. And then we're probably gonna go to the hotel. Well, we're not. We're not sure. sure. We yeah. might extend our stay and maybe stay somewhere else. Ooh. In Koh Samui. We don't really know what we're gonna do. It depends really if we get our visa extension this week or not. So yeah, now we're walking down to Central, getting the main bits for our, our little studio. And yeah. food hall right now in Koh Samui um, just to pick up some bits. The central food halls are always kind of like the more expensive grocery stores but given that you can always find like cheaper things like olive oil. So you cook with olive oil. Look at these prices. They're like 300 baht, 200 baht. It's too much. You, you got to compromise. You can always get just sunflower oil, 75 baht, 69 baht over there. Lower shells always will have cheaper prices. Same for tuna. There's some tuna here for 48, 48, and then go to the bottom here, and it's like 30. Obviously, we're not gonna do our entire shop here, but we will kind of pick up the essential stuff. And then we're, I know there's a lotus beside here. It's a bit of a walk. But um, I think that's where we're gonna get like our bigger bits, like maybe some meat or rice because it is much cheaper over there. Lotuses and Marco are kind of like the cheapest supermarkets in Thailand. And then gourmet and central food hall are a bit more upper class. <laughs> no, I'm all right, thanks. Oh, thank you, we're good, thank you. <laughs> We got some food. Look at this fridge. It's huge. It's filled. Like if this was a small fridge, yeah. this would be completely jammed, but because it's so big, it looks pretty sparse. But yeah, let's just run over a few things real quick. We already had uh, breakfast as well. I may have had two bowls of noodles. Yeah, we just got some basics, you know. Oh, some kimchi. 
went in. Oh, that kimchi was so cheap. It was literally like 19 baht or something. Unbelievable. With 19 baht, it's like what, 50 cent. And we've got some olives, bread, cucumbers, and some mushrooms, some tofu, popcorn, can't you? More instant noodles. These are my, probably one of my favorite brands of instant noodles. <laughs> um, black garlic oil tonkatsu flavor. Stellar. Not that we're going to be eating loads here, but it is nice just to be able to like do Make yourself a, a, a quick breakfast and yeah. you know. One thing I realized in Koh Samui, it's a bit expensive, more expensive than like other, it's a tourist destination. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. going to be a bit more pricier in these yeah. regions. Like when you're going around, it's definitely not locals, uh, you know, being like the, the dominant, like I, I'm yeah, mainly seeing yeah, foreigners yeah. and tourists, whereas... Uh, but we're also in, uh, what? what? Chowang. Chowang. Chowang, yeah. So, yeah. no, we are in the touristy spot of Koh Samui as well. So, I mean, yeah. uh, it's to be expected for sure, but uh, we definitely prefer to be a little bit more amongst the locals, but mm -hmm. we're still having a good time here in Samui. I, I'm sure if we walk like 10 minutes down onto a different road, there's going to be a lot more like local family ran yeah, yeah. shops. That's what we want. Like, we don't want like a nice fancy restaurant. We want to like. I want a classic chairs. Yeah. I want stains on the wall. You know, I want no paint. <laughs> oh, I want the paint peeling off if I can. Yeah, yeah. Because that's where you find the best, yeah. and it's probably it's most times the cheapest food, you know? And, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is what we like to be eating. <laughs> okay. Well, Let's go get some water. Let's go. Because we're dehydrated. <laughs> okay, so we finally made it to Chuang Beach and. It's a nice beach. Lovely. There's some beach bars going on. Hopefully you don't hear the music. <laughs> oh, I will say I have missed Thailand for its beach dogs. They just sit here and lounge around the entire day. It's so cute. So yeah, we're gonna have a dip now. Should be fun. Look at these hills. We still have Doggo just lounging, loving life. A uh, big stretch, you know. Every hour you gotta stretch. You gotta reset, you wake up a bit sore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolute scenes. Uh, I actually didn't <laughs> expect Koh Samui to be so hilly and mountainous. I know maybe some people are like, oh my God, that's so ignorant for you guys to say. But honestly, for the last four months, every place we've been to, we just research on the go when we get there, you know, suss it out. Pretty much, yeah. We've just, yeah, just, just kind of show up and, and see what's around, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to be too prepared. So that's kind of why we're like, oh, there's hills here that we can hike. Interesting, you know. Because um, we are going to be in Thailand for two months, probably on the Samui Islands, because uh, the wet season in Thailand isn't ideal right now. But for some reason, Koh Samui, Koh Phanang and Koh Tao are unaffected by it for now. I think they have their own kind of rainy season. Yeah, like it rained today for like five minutes, just a yeah. heavy downpour, but I think fine. we had way worse in Bali. It would rain for like hours, mm -hmm. so I mean, you know, I'm pretty, pretty happy here. Yeah. So, yeah. um, I'm excited to really get started. Today was just like, you know, yeah, kind of coming up to speed, day. like getting, you know, water, and like a bit of food, and kind of sorting out where we are yeah. and all. So it'll be interesting. Uh, we're going to dry off and do some laundry and maybe go for a run while yeah. laundry is getting done. Because yeah. there's actually a big, huge lake around here that we can do laps of. So, yeah. Doing some laundry and post a movie. Oh, lightning. 
Another day in paradise. <laughs> yeah. oh. We went to go out on a run. We're not going on a run. Uh, and we were going to do the laundry first. There's so, a thunderstorm. Yeah, there's a thunderstorm right now. It's a lot of rain. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's really fun. My shoes are completely wet. Like, I stepped into a puddle and I didn't see my shoe. So, and I don't want to know where it went, to be honest. So, that's the update. Sean, how are your shoes doing? My shoes, uh, it feels like I'm walking in, uh, it, it feels like I, I've cut a hole in a sponge, <sighs> put it in the sink and then put my foot in it. Honestly, that's a fantastic <laughs> description. Okay, 10 out of 10. So we got our laundry done, dried off, and decided to eat in for the night. We spent the next couple of days just figuring out Koh Samui, and I must say, absolutely fell in love with the community. Every evening when we went for a jog, we know so many people around, which when you come from rainy Ireland, you don't see a lot of. Everyone's out and about, having a good time, and just working on themselves. Next week, we suss out the beaches a bit more in Koh Samui. Try to get our visas extended and find a surprising food market. See you guys next week. As always, take it easy.